Okay, so right now this second, I'm getting messages on Instagram, Facebook, even emails telling me that you have hit rock bottom. You don't know where to go from here. You're at zero. You're trying to dig yourself out of this hole and you just don't know how to do it. First off, let me tell you right now that I was literally homeless, sleeping out of my car. I had absolutely nothing. I went from a millionaire to completely broke and even bankrupt. I didn't have a thing to my name. The only thing that I kept was a cell phone and, and, and my real estate license. That was it. That's all I had was my cell phone bill and a real estate license. I had no car payment, I had no insurance, I had no rent, I had no utilities, I had nothing. I couldn't afford it, didn't have it, okay? A friend gave me their beat up car that was beat up. It, it didn't have brake lights. I had to put a boom box in the back seat to listen to music, okay? That's how I rode around for about three or four years of my life, okay? That's how I was living. So trust me when I say that I've been there. I've been to rock bottom. And you know what? It, it even hurts even worse when you make a meal and then hit rock bottom, right? If you just are at rock bottom your whole life, okay, you kind of grow immune to it. But when you taste success and then lose it, that really hurts. That really stings. So. I want you to know right now that when, I, when that happened to me and I was at the lowest point in my life, okay, I was literally one of the happiest people in the world. You know why? Because I knew that that moment was going to teach me the lessons that was going to get me where I am right now. Let me tell you something. When you're at the bottom, you have absolutely zero to lose because you don't have anything. So why not push as hard as you can? and give it everything you got. All you can do is get better. If you're at the bottom, that's good because you only got one way to go up unless you just lay down and quit. Are you a quitter? Are you gonna lay down? Or are you gonna move forward? Winners move forward. They keep moving. They don't stop. They may get knocked down, but they don't stop moving. Losers stop moving. They lay down. They go to sleep. So what you gotta do is you gotta look in the mirror. You gotta wake up, you have to look in the mirror, and you have to say, Am I a winner or am I a loser? Because there's only two ways to go in life. There's no such thing as maintaining. You're either, you're either a winner or you're a loser. And let me tell you something right now. Being a winner only means one thing, that you didn't stop. It doesn't mean that you won. It doesn't mean that you beat everybody. It doesn't mean that no one can beat you. It just means that you won't stop moving forward. You won't stop making phone calls. You won't stop going to work on time. You won't stop exceeding everybody's expectations. You just won't stop. The worst times in my life, I used work as a therapy. Work was my therapy. That's what I run to. If something's going on bad, I use work to, to, to focus away from the negativity in my life so that I can move in a positive direction past the negativity. So just know that you're not alone in this situation. I've been right where you are, and I promise you, if you'll just get up and start moving, you will accomplish your dreams and your goals. Talk to you guys soon. I don't care what the market's doing. I don't care if it's going up, down, sideways, left, right, in the middle, really high, really low, interest rates, prices, transactions. I don't care what the market's doing. The fact is this. Closings are happening every single day. And it's not the market's fault that you can't adapt to the market as it changes. You have to go with the flow of the market. That's the name of the game.